This movie is called The Black Phone. Anyways. I'm going to give critique of the movie so far after this part's over. When they came to my work, why did the police come to my work? I don't know. I'm sorry. You tell me what you know about this investigation. Nothing. Tell me what. What? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. What? Nothing. Hit me again and I'm dropping it. You drop that and I will beat your ass. The fuck is this hard? <laughs> And no ice on that bottom, young lady. I want you to think about what you did. Okay, so this is what happened. This little girl gets psychic visions, and she also gets dreams that come true. So, in the fashion of toxic masculinity that doesn't understand the divine and more than one, uh, more than six senses, beyond the sixth sense, her father beats her because detectives come to her because she has spoke to one of the girls at her school about some vision she had about one of the kids that got abducted, right? And she talked about black balloons and, and um, um, just different things, that criteria that link to the case um, in this movie, right? But the detectives also can't believe that this little girl has this information that they have evidence of the black balloons that were at the scene where he was abducted, the little boy, and um, someplace else. But anyways, uh, I guess they found his body. I don't know. And uh, alongside were these black balloons. So this is part of the case. This is what I wanted to get into. Because I think movies like this are very teachable moments. Um, for one, this man has a drinking problem, right? He tries to escape his life from drinking. He's got two kids. I don't know what happened to the mother yet because I haven't watched the movie, but he's beating his kids. He, he, he's very abusive to his kids, toxic masculinity. These are things that nobody talks about. And what I've noticed too in the black community is they think that, that abuse like this only happens in the black community. And you see, like, this is a movie, of course, yes. But this is stuff that happens to white kids, too. Asian kids. Hispanic kids. They're in... Stop. They're in abusive families, okay? So, when I say that toxic masculinity has to end, like, this is an example of to toxic masculinity... But nobody really addresses it. Nobody really cares. And they keep on going day by day. They brush everything under the rugs in these families. And they don't they don't deal with these kind of issues and make sure that they correct the problem. So I just wanted to point these things out. So this little girl is, she's a psychic. And apparently her mother was a psychic as well. She gets dreams and apparently her mother got dreams. But the father's trying to act like she doesn't have this ability. Or doesn't want her to have this ability. I mean, it is kind of a curse to somebody that you can see the future and you see certain things that happen and the devastation of those things and the things are pretty evil. But nonetheless, this little girl has this ability. <laughs>